Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 26. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. This is the cover car on the cover of Gran Turismo 6. Um, it's a very nice car. I actually have driven it a couple of times just to sort of check the tunes all right. Because I've actually properly tried to tune this. And it currently has 700 horsepower. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it to the fighting muscle championship so we're starting out in brands hatch moving off to the circuit the spa frank or sharp and then come into what used to be my favorite uh gran turismo original track it's now my second favorite after matterhorn is eager norwand and this is actually the first race i think that we're actually at eager so let's start off with brands hatch what are our typical cars in this so we've got Viper GTSs, Corvette ZR1s, and a Mustang V8 GT Coupe Premium. I wonder what that looks like. But let's just get straight into the race. Brands Hatch. Let's go. Fighting Muscle. That's a pretty sick name, though. Fighting Muscle. I do prefer the events in this game to Gran Turismo 5. Um, and there's a lot more in this. Uh, oh, look. We've got... Three Corvettes, four Corvettes. We've got a Charger, a Challenger, a Camaro, Ford GT, and a Mustang Boss. Interesting. Right, here we go. Brands Hatch, four laps. Let's see how well this... Oh, look at that. Frame rate. Jesus. Frame rate's just disappeared. The frames have gone on strike. I have a feeling we will need to go on this camera angle. Though, the interior of this car is very nice. What? Oh! A little bit of contact through there. Not very sportsman-like there. The amount of power coming from this thing is insane. 700 brake horsepower. With a supercharger equipped to it. This was producing about 450, but we managed to squeeze an extra 250 out of it, roughly. Look at that, 150 miles an hour on that section. Awesome. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Here we go, slowing down here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jeez, that was close. And past the Ford GT. 150 miles an hour through that section there. Right, let's slow down here. Corvette Z06 in front of us. And we are obviously in the uh, Corvette Stingray C7. I'm pretty sure it's a C7. If it's not, well, I'm sorry for making a mistake. But go fuck yourself. There we go. Right, let's see how much speed we can get on here. We're running at 60 FPS now because there are no cars in front of us. Nearly 160 miles an hour down there. A Bugatti Veyron would probably hit 180. So, 160 in a Corvette is very good. This is the fastest car we've driven so far. 
Oh. This definitely gets the award for the fastest car we've driven so far in the entire series. A little bit wide there. Not too much of a problem though. The Corvette can manage that very nicely. Coming on to the third lap of the session. Come on, come on. Awesome. Oh, slow down, slow down, get around the corner. I'd rather get around the corner safe than not at all. Let's go. I swear I can see rain on the screen. I don't know whether that's just me. Very nice through that section there. Awesome. This Corvette's doing me proud. Forty, fifty, one fifty. Right into second for the hairpin corner. Nice. Come on, round the corner, round the corner. Go, go, go. Very good. It's weird. The fourth gear literally has like 60, 70 miles an hour worth of travel. Off-road in time. At least the car can slide a little bit. But for some reason I can't turn traction control off. We're stuck on traction control where it comes to like halfway when you're going around a corner. Like watch this. Ridiculous. Oh! Traction control seems to turn off. And here we go. Across the line. Awesome. And our time is a 629.7. Nice. Let's see how much money we got. 26,000 for that race. Very good. Three stars, which is also very good. Let's move on to the next race, which is going to be the Spa Francorchamps. And we are doing three laps around Spa, so this this is going to be our top speed test because this is the only place where we can get a high speed in any car. So let's go, fighting muscle, race number two. Spa, circuit to Spa. We're going against uh, Corvette ZR1 C6, a Stingray C7. ZR1C4s, a Z06 C6, uh, and some Vipers, Chargers, and Challengers. Right, we are here at Spa. 
one of wow, one of the greatest uh, F1 tracks out of all of them. I would say Spa is my favorite F1 track, um, just because it's like awesome. Maybe Suzuka gets a good second, but Spa. I do not understand how it is such a big track. Like. The amount of money it must cost to run this track is ridiculous. Get out of the way, Cadillac. There we go. Nice. That was terrible. What on earth was that corner? <laughs> Here we go. What is going on? What is going on with the car? I think my tuning job was a little bit shit. Right, we've got two more cars in front of us. Come on, come on. Round the corner. Round the corner. Let's go. Perfect. This Corvette is a beautiful car. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, perfect. Right. Coming up to the start finish section of Spa. Spa seems to be a very empty track. Like, it's not very populated around the edges until you get to, like, this bit. And then there's, like, one lonely little stand on the start-finish line. And then there's a stand behind on after this corner. But then after that, that's about it. Like, here, you got the stands back here. But, like... Silverstone has stands all around. Like, the entire thing is a massive venue. I mean, there's some stands up there. But, like, where are the people? Oh, yeah, that's a good shout. Where are the people in the stands? There's, like, no one. Why are there seven gears, but I'm in fifth going 180 miles an hour? That does not make sense. Perfect. We're getting some very good lap times out of this car as well. It's a quick one. I'm looking forward to taking this around um, Eager Norwen though. This is going to be really fun to drive around there. Perfect. Nice. 
Right, we have one more lap left of Spa now. Coming on to the final lap. Let's go. Very good corner there. Total. Right, let's see how much speed can we get on this one. One eighty four, I think that was. Go, go, go. Awesome. Got about a minute and a half left of this race, approximately. Very good. We got three Brazilians in this race and two Americans. Awesome. Perfect. Nice. Coming up to the second to last corner. And then around the final corner. Awesome. And across the line. 234 for that final lap. 7 minutes 47 seconds total time. Very good. Very nice. Right, let's see. Let's take our 28,000, I think it was, 27.9, close enough. 140,000 credits so far, and we already own the car for the next two championships, so uh, we're not actually going to have to buy anything for those either. So next, we should be able to start International A with about 400,000 credits, which will be sick. But next up is Eager Norwand. For some reason, our car now has 703 brake horsepower. We had... 700 and now it's gone up to 703 um something seems off jerry but here we are at eager we've got a corvette a karma eco sport another corvette a viper another corvette a camaro and a ford gc concept right we are now thousands of feet in the air in the alps going around eager norwan here we go. This track was made in 2008, so I'm guessing this track was designed, made for GT Prologue, GT5 Prologue, and then made its way into GT5. That is pretty cool. Come on, let me through. Awesome. Now.
We are going very quick around this track. We've obviously got five laps to do as well. Which is pretty exciting. Now, That was awesome. Going over that jump is so cool. Because in this car, because it's so quick, you go so far. Awesome. And off we go. Little bit of drift. Little loss of control. Not too much of a problem because we're going to overtake this Ford GT now. I have a feeling that's the concept one, isn't it? It's a concept for the 2005 one. To be fair, the concept looks a lot like the actual Ford GT. So, uh, you know, at least Ford didn't mess with us too much back then. It's that jump that gets me every time. It's like, that's awesome. Go, go, go. Nice. Let's go. The speed through these sections is ridiculous. That's the fastest we've gone over that jump. 120 miles an hour. Perfect. We are about to overtake someone as well. I wonder what that car at the back of the pack is. Whatever it is, they're only on lap three. And they've got a 704 horsepower now. Which magically gained five horsepower just like that. What the fuck just happened? That was weird. He's got a uh, 500, uh, 704 horsepower Corvette just slowly catching up with him. Hundred and twenty two miles an hour that time over the jump. Oh no wonder it's slow, it's a Corvette like pickup truck, Chevrolet pickup. Awesome. Let's see if this lap could be the fastest one yet. We got one oh nine point nine to be. Perfect. Come on. Nice. 
Look at that, 109.2. The amount of speed that this car carries through this circuit is ridiculous. Like, you wouldn't expect a car like this to go that quick. 5 minutes 54 seconds though around that track. And I will take my paycheck. 28,000. Nice. Three stars. Let's go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. I know